Harvey's up. He says, I paid someone to create an IFTTT network for my YouTube channel. Is there a simple way to check to see if it's actually set up and working? Yes, I uploaded a video to my YouTube channel and checked one of my many blogs to see if it was sent. I didn't see the video forwarded to the blog. Does it take days or seconds for the IFTTT links to become active? Uh, well, Harvey, if it's set up right, it should be within about within an hour of, of you uploading a video or live streaming a video, provided that the video was public on your channel. So like when you upload a video, if it's set to unlisted or private, it's not going to syndicate. But if it's set to public, it will. Um, and it should within an hour at tops. It used to be that it would take up to about 15 minutes, but um, IFTTT, they've changed it now on on free accounts and such. I think it could, can take up to an hour. But just be aware that sometimes when um, you first connect a syndication network it, it, and you send out your first post, whether it's a blog post with RSN, S, excuse me, RSS syndication or if it's a YouTube syndication network, it doesn't matter. Sometimes that first post won't syndicate to many of the properties, if not all of them. And that's why we always call, we, we call priming the network, right? So you have to post a couple posts uh, to, to, first of all, test to make sure everything's working. Um, and then usually by the second or third post, everything seems to be firing. Something that you can do is you can, um, what I would suggest doing is if you upload a second video and you make sure that it's set to public, and you still see that it hasn't syndicated within an hour or so, you can log in to IFTTT and just go to the services menu, the drop down, hit services, and that's going to pull up all of the channel. They used to be called channels, but now they're called services. So like all the apps that are connected, Blogger, WordPress, Tumblr, uh, your YouTube channel, start with the trigger, reconnect the trigger. So what, that, what I mean by that is go to Firefox, clear your browser, cache cookies, whatever, log into that YouTube account, Okay, that's supposed to be the trigger for the network. Then log into IFTTT, go to services menu, search for YouTube, click on YouTube, click settings and click reconnect or edit connection. Um, and that's for your trigger. Always start with reconnecting your trigger first before starting to reconnect your app, your uh, action channels. Because a lot of times if it's your trigger channel, obviously it's not going to work correctly for any of your actions that you've got set up. So um, again, start with reconnecting your YouTube channel, then test again. Try to upload another video, see what happens. And that's why it's important to test guys before you like set up a marketing campaign with your new network and then like start publishing content to your blog or to your YouTube channel and make sure it's working first. If I can okay. add something. Yep. Because this, this came up during a webinar that, that we just did of why people should purchase things from, from us, us and be originators from the ones who actually created the training and, uh, and trained the VAs to do it correctly. If you had come to us, we would be doing all of this for you, Harvey, instead of you having to go and find out why your IFTT right. network doesn't seem to be working correctly. And if, if it's our issue and if we cause it, we would do everything that's in our power to, to get it right or to do right by you because we have. We've done it before. We've gone in and, and fixed it and changed it and, and done tons of things when we don't deliver the product as promised, which we, we usually tend to do. That there's, there's always human error because we have people creating these networks, hooking them together, whatever. So something, sometimes something slips. And so when this happens, you can come to us and say, hey guys, you know, I'm, I'm having problems. What can I do? Instead of having to figure out now, now you're going to spend your valuable time fixing something that should have been fixed by the person who delivered it. That's so this is one of the reasons why. This is why. I agree with that. Uh, and it's only, be, I mean, like the thing is, is, we part of the process. Remember, our networks are built 100% manually, guys. There is absolutely zero automation used. Okay, and so it's 100% manually built by hand. And our uh, our uh, team built our built um, excuse me our builders, our team of builders. They know as part of the process to set that to publish a seed post or a video or whatever to test it. Um, and that's you know so again, just Harvey, it's kind of a pain in the ass if you got to do it yourself. I totally agree. But you should check it anyways. I mean, even when you get them from us, guys, make sure you check them because, they're, you know, sometimes, and it's just the nature of uh, the syndication network, sometimes IFTTT doesn't fire correctly. And it could be just a simple, um, it could just be that you need to upload a second video or publish a second post and it will start to fire correctly. But sometimes it's just a matter of reconnecting the channels because uh, something happened and the connection was lost, even though it might show that it's connected just reconnecting the channel, reauthorizing IFTTT to that app 
will help it to uh, start firing correctly. You okay. can go to service space and, and monitor his networks. I mean, we have yep. that available in service space. 